Hello and welcome to the Clayson Garrett Harpsichord Repair. We've had a look at this the other day and found the structural faults there in the underneath the soundboard. And so we put a clamp across the instrument from here to the other side. And this didn't quite close up the gap there. It did probably by about a millimetre. When we were, uh, cramped it, it made a crack, which means that there's something loose elsewhere, so we'll deal with that. We put a clamp also there, and we found that this hitch pin rail goes back quite happily. So we've prepared some screws there to screw this back in when we've dealt with that. Now, in order to pull this side further into the instrument, we've prepared by putting a couple of blocks that you can see there and here onto the uh, inner strut and we're going to put screws in at this direction and in this direction to pull that back and here on masking tape we've marked out the places where our screws are going to be marking out where other where, where things are going to hit and not hit so we're going to put three screws here and we're going to avoid the screws there, there and there. So that's the idea. And our next challenge is to take out a section of veneer here so that it can be replaced, in, so that the screws can be invisible and it will, uh, the damage to it will be minimised. Well, we've now uh, put some screws through, it's difficult to see that in there, uh, through from here there are screw holes. We were unable to rescue veneer um, and uh, make it invisible. Um, but there are our screws going through into that. Um, there's still a bit of a gap, which um, is, uh, but we've tightened it up enormously. And we're now screwing the hip pin rail uh, to the side of the case. One would like to do that with countersunk screws and make it neat, but there simply isn't the physical strength in these small pieces of wood, so we're not bother bo bothering about that. Here we are, we've inserted a piece of veneer into the crack in the soundboard here. We've glued and screwed these back with uh, matchsticks down the bottom of the holes to provide extra grip and lots of glue. Um, that uh, uh, soundboard crack is glued nicely. Up at the top here, there was a section uh, which was loose and this soundboard should be held up here by the glue. It had come unglued and there was a split in it before, so we've put a little uh, block of wood there. Um, this isn't particularly critical, so we haven't paid much attention on this, but it will be perf perfectly functional. Um, and so it's now a case of waiting for the clamp, uh, the uh, glue to dry before we can take the clamps off. So there are the clamps waiting for everything to dry. We've put in uh, seven screws down the side here um, and um, getting that to um, uh, be vaguely disguised so that the screw holes don't look too terrible it will be a challenge but um, uh, with our friend Derek who restores furniture uh, it's uh, going to be doable. We can either plant a piece of wood on top or a piece of moulding and of course stain it to look exactly the right colour or else I've just noticed in Derek's box this wonderful herringbone pattern stuff, um, and um, there it is, um, and that is intended for inlay, and it would take some time, a bit of time, cost some labour and work, but it could be amazing to actually inlay this pattern right the way around, uh, following this inlay here, and that would cover up there. And we could put a strip in and down there as well, perhaps without going along the whole lot um, down the edge. But that could well be one solution of how to uh, cosmetically hide these. We were hoping to lift the veneer up and stick it back down, but it was actually too well stuck and stuck with modern castamite glue uh, rather than a, a glue that could be steamed off. So uh, that wasn't an option, but that is quite an interesting possibility, um, although the cost will be uh, frustrating. Um, otherwise, it's very easy just to put a, a, a raised, a raised, uh, a raised panelling, probably a smaller pro profile than that. So, mm, a, a dilemma time. We've decided that we can put a piece just here and another one there, and possibly 
and we can then put one at the other end as a vertical decoration on the thing, but certainly we can just put one here and there in the first instance, see where we go from there. This strip here just being um, glued in before the track cracks go on and it will polish up very nicely. Um, we've done it at the uh, position where we can mitre that in due course and go right the way along the rectangle if one wants to uh, in increase that as a decorative feature. I think it'll look very good. Now the clamps are on and this one will do next week. I don't know why I got lost on that ends like that. Well, here you can see what we've been doing inside. I wonder if I can get that. I can't get the lamp to stay in its place. Um, bearing in mind the structural forces on the, um, on the soundboard, uh, we actually put a couple of pieces of veneer across the cracks. And you can see in the corner there, which this camera would focus, um, uh, where the um, uh, where there's wood, so wood, wood glue coming out of the joint with the uh, with the um, uh, soundboard. So we know that the soundboard is uh, being glued very strongly there. You can see there the screws that come through the edge of the instrument, through those blocks, and into that stay in the middle there. And you can see the block here. And again, perhaps, um, you can see there where the light is, that long strip where, again, because of the structural forces on the soundboard, uh, we've uh, put some veneer on that. We've heard a couple of other cracks in this instrument from time to time, and so, in due course, I might take inspection holes out, and I've marked the lines of screws, really, to see if there are any other uh, glue joints that have gone. Um, but this is certainly the worst one. Uh, the reason for this was that when I detuned the instrument, uh, the soundboard moved um, and um, uh, the geometry of the instrument changed. Perhaps it might be okay having done with the, down this corner, but we're not really going to know yet, and I don't know whether it's safer to do the investigation now uh, than to have to uh, de-string de it uh, yet again to um, do another investigation.